My fellow Americans, you deserve the truth, and I know you can handle it. I won't be your next president. That point has been made crystal clear. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. Like, President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Hello, welcome to Foreign Correspondent. I'm Jeremy Fernandez. Well, it took a global pandemic to force us all indoors and to increasingly rely on video screens to connect our lives. But is seeing still believing? This program delves into the world of deep fakes. A deep fake is a, essentially a piece of synthetic or fake media that's either been generated entirely by artificial intelligence or manipulated by artificial intelligence. Malaria isn't just any disease. Which, by the way, includes fake video of real people saying and doing things that they never did. This is no stunt. Hollywood is delighted by the movie-making potential of deepfakes. But in Washington, the tech is increasingly viewed as dangerous and subversive. You blame me for interfering with your democracy. The deepfakes plays into the hands of anybody, any state sponsor, any institution that wants to create confusion or deceive. The deepfakes are a, th a fundamental threat to democracy and to any civilization that relies on the truth. Deepfakes could very well undermine our sense of reality. So are we entering a world where artificial intelligence will distort our sense of reality? Perhaps, as I have a confession to make, I'm actually a deepfake, and you're now watching my computer-generated avatar that Hamish MacDonald and I have created. What's extraordinary is that almost anyone can now do this. All you need is a credit card and internet access.